Today I'm creating four slimline cards based on template from one of my paper crafting friends, but with a twist. Hello my crafty community. Here's my first slimline card based on template by Jess Crafts and I'll link that down in the description box. But I decided to vary it up a little bit even though it looks the same. This right here, happiest of days, is a die that I got from scrapbook.com. It's creative expressions. It's a lot of fun. Very cute, I think. And I'm using my 12 by 12 summertime papers. Now in her template, you'll see she uses one 12 by 12 and cuts it all up. And because it's double-sided, she uses both pieces back and forth to make eight. I've only made four. So this is the first one that's completed. I did not stamp in the inside this time. But I have them ready to go. All the measurements will be listed down below. I will, it's to her blog and then she has the template right there for us. So what I did and I'll show another picture. The pattern pieces are the same. We're not gonna cut them down, but I, I bumped them up against each other and I just cut a six inch piece of the matting to go across the entire card. This is a slim line card. If you don't aren't familiar with that, this is a six by six. I put it like this toward me. I can hold it like this and just fold. Then I just use my bone folder. But I had all these mini slim line envelopes from one of Alicia's projects. It's quite nicely. Okay, I have two light pink card bases and two white. So let's go ahead and put this together. This eliminates the need to cut things in half and put a piece of cardstock behind the middle piece. I don't know if I mentioned this already, but I did use three pieces of pattern paper and she only used the one. This is the summer collection from Echo Park, a 12 by 12. And I thought I would go ahead and use as much as I could of this. If you'll notice, and this is quite a happy accident, but these two pieces are very, very similar, just off by a little bit. So I decided to put this in the middle and those two on the outside. Okay, yep. all right, let's center that correctly. Everything, nothing is popped up on foam tape. I'm just going to leave it as is. And the rectangle piece is going to cover this up. So we're good. Now these are very, very delicate. There you go. And so I'm going to be sponging glue on. 
got my Tombow Mono. This does dry clear, thank goodness, because it's going to kind of seep over the edges. If I want every piece to stick, that's the risk I take. Okay. We're just going to let this little piece dangle down here. Or I can push it on. That's not going to make a whole lot of difference. There. And I'm going to decorate with enamel dots, of course. Also, also in her, her measurements, she did not butt this all the way to the end like I'm doing here. Because that's the way we can get away with using both pieces uncut. We butt them up to the end so we just have the top and bottom borders. I'm running out. There we go. Okay. Let's change this real quick. All right. Put that away. has started. I hope it's going well for everybody. Back in my day, we started school in September. So things change both for the good and the bad. All right, let's put this one on. Bad meaning it's still hot in August. I don't know where if it's hot where you live, but this year seems to be some unseasonable weather. So yeah, that's what I meant by the bad. It's a little bit warm. Okay. And let's do our little piece here. don't ha actually have a sponge handy so I'm using I'm using a dry baby wipe
I like to put that right up against the top of the pattern paper or as close as can be. Try not to tear it because it is very delicate. Okay. One more. And I'll do this on white. I just did a no no. If you do like three of a kind, it's probably better to do the the middle one first, so you know where to put. I'm gonna try this. Oh, okay. All right. So I'm gonna put that more in the center, and then you know you have a better judgment of where to put the the other two. But it, it looks like it turned out okay. inch piece here right all the way across the front and the two pieces of pattern paper are intact they're just right together okay and oops turn it right side round that would be good okay there's that right in the middle. And let's do our die cut. trying to keep it off the cardstock because it's a lot of glued mess. Let's get my fingers all messy. push it down with this because like I said my fingers are sticky and it might tear it okay here are my four slim light cards inspired by Jess's layout but with a slight twist I hope you enjoyed this and got something out of it Thank you so much for joining me, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.